Daydream Quickie. In November of 2023, a brief was filed in federal court which referenced several Second Circuit cases, including United States v. Amato. What's a motto? Nothing! What's a motto with you? None of the cases existed. The briefs happened because lawyer Michael Cohen, who was the defendant, used an AI, Google Bard, to generate the cases and gave them to his lawyer, who submitted them to the court without bothering to double check them. This came on the heels of another case the previous June, where two lawyers did the same thing using ChatGPT, which also referenced cases that didn't exist. In both cases, the judge was not amused. These large language models, or LLMs, aren't sophisticated search engines or super accurate research tools. The facts that they give are, to use the term actual AI experts use, hallucinations. Of course they make stuff up! That's literally what they're for! LLMs generate answers depending on your inputs. So if you feed it nonsense, it'll output nonsense. If you ask questions that don't make sense, it'll give you answers that don't match reality. Also, these tools are still very new, so they may have biases towards certain information. For example, ChatGPT was trained on Wikipedia articles, which means that it may favor the bias of Wikipedia editors over others which may be more accurate or have a different bias. In addition, ChatGPT and several of the others have been trained using Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback, or RLHF. This is where real humans answer prompts posed by GPT itself, and it uses those answers to learn from both successes and failures. As a result, they can help users who find themselves getting lost in endless search results or struggling to understand complex concepts. But AI is not a hotline to truth. If you understand how it works, how it doesn't have chopped up bits of reference text in its model, you know that it just generates text from scratch based on what it thinks the rest of the response should be like, based on what the user gave it. These aren't supposed to be reference tools, sophisticated encyclopedias, or search engine. It's not about getting reliable information. It's being able to explore ideas quickly and efficiently. LLMs can help us discover and understand patterns and relationships between disparate and confusing pieces of data much quicker than we can do ourselves. LLMs can help us not only save time, but also help us gain insights into topics which may otherwise require time-consuming and even confusing research efforts. But never forget to do that reality check! No matter the tool, we must remember to use the tools of skepticism that exist to detect bias and inaccuracies no matter the source, encyclopedias, websites, or AI. Always be skeptical. Thank you.